and give you a win. Yeah, he's been the guy that's been best use of changeable conditions and uh, making the, the right call and understanding the tyres. And I think that's his ten years experience in Formula One. Obviously, that the highlight of that was winning his World Championship last year. But I think he sees these changing conditions here in Spa as a real opportunity for him to try and add race number three for the season. Sure. For me, one of the key points here is to be in front of your teammate because it's far too long a lap to take a chance and wait. It's much quicker to stack up. So if you're in front, like Mark Webber, for me, has the perfect situation. If, if there's a downpour, he comes in, he gets served first, he's gone, his teammate suffers. It's a huge opportunity that the guy in the lead position has here. Okay, we're we'll talking of Jensen's teammate, Lewis Hamilton. He starts second on the grid alongside a certain Mark Webber. Mark Webber looking through the business here this weekend. So far, he's managed 50% of that with the perfect flying lap in qualifying. Here's the man himself to talk you through it. Here we are at Spa. About to start my qualifying lap. It's been a bit of a mixed session with uh, a little bit of interruption. Look at the rain coming down. No grip at all. I'll start the lap. Into last source. Very, very important to get the braking right here. Opening the lap. Very, very tight corner. Crucial to the clean exit. Second gear out of there. And now on the long run down to our Rouge, which is very, very steep and very deceiving uh, on TV, you don't, you don't realise how steep it is. Sensational corner in Formula on this one, through Eau Rouge, you can see him on the F-Duck trying to get as much speed as they can, firing himself out of the top of Eau Rouge. Now a bit of a chance to relax and get ready to uh, launch myself into the second sector, which is a very, very important part of the lap. Breaking as deep as I can into here. The curbs are mainly dry, but some of them are still a little bit tricky. Through turn seven here, very important to get a good run through here, use all the curb on the exit. Now we go 